I'll just start out the day with some breakfast. I'm gonna have my mass gainer shake that I typically have. I'll show you guys that. What up? Say hi to YouTube. <laughs> All right, so anyways, but uh, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. And yeah. Can I go potty? Good girl. I typically will start out my mornings with either a big blender shake or a serious mass shake. Otherwise, I'll have um, some bacon, eggs, and some toast just to start out with a little bit of fruit. But if I'm in a pinch or I just want to kind of be lazy and make things happen a little quicker, then I'll do something like I'm doing today. One second. Yeah, so as I was mentioning before, this is typically what I'll have to start out my day on most days. Otherwise, if I do have more time or I just feel like making a full breakfast, then I'll do something like three or four eggs. Then I'll do some toast, um, a little bit of fruit, and just some bacon if I have bacon. Um, but this is just more convenient. Um, but the thing about mass gainers is obviously they're more expensive, so you can always make your own mass gainer shake with like a blender, throw in protein powder, um, throw in fruit, throw in a little bit of veggies if you want. You could even throw in some oats if you're trying to make it more of a calorie dense sort of meal. You could even throw in some olive oil. There's tons and tons of different recipes out there that you can pick from that are going to be tasting better than the ones I make, but um, those are just some ideas. So this is what I'll start out the day with. There's about 25 grams of protein in here, about 125 grams of carbs, a little bit of vitamins and minerals. Um, so it just kind of knocks out a little bit of the um, calories and a little bit of protein for my day to start out. Um, keeps me pretty full for a while while I'm about to answer a bunch of client check-ins. And yeah, that's just what works for me though, guys. So I mean, you don't have to do this. Um, everything is going to be specific to what works for you. So. Anyways, so if you guys are wondering, I'm not like a huge coffee drinker. Obviously, we do have the Keurig here, so I drink that sometimes. But otherwise, this is my like go-to for like caffeine um, in the morning. P Science, great stuff. I actually take their multivitamin as well. Um, these are some pump pills. I don't take those every day. These are my omega threes by P Science as well. Uh, basically, just some fish oil, and then I take vitamin D three, which is from one of my other sponsors. Um, which is what pre-workout I actually take same company makes the D the D vitamin But yeah, and then uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Otherwise. I do take some BCA's even though They're not really needed if you're getting an adequate protein, but I like to take them anyways So if you're wondering just a little brief overview Bring it here Drop it good girl good girl ready 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 and Go get it. Bring it back. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. Bring it here. Bring it here, Zoe. Got to give your dog the filtered water too, right? Come on. She's really just a big baby. Right? Tell him. Time to go to the gym. I forgot to mention earlier that uh, I also take this probiotic. I get it on Amazon. Gut health, baby. I believe this is my pre-workout of choice here. Um, this is typically what I'll take, the pure pump. And then I'll take this sometimes if I don't want the uh, beta alanine and everything that's in here. Um, but since this is unflavored, then I'll throw it with um, my BCAs here. Uh, just to give it some flavor, but yeah. What are you talking about in there? <laughs> but uh, yeah, so today I'm just doing this. Some alphamine. Does anyone else not have an aux in their car or truck and uh, puts a speaker, a Bluetooth speaker in there? Yeah, because if you are, you are not alone, my friend. 
So kind of recently I've talked about like my training style and just how I've been going about things and I've been sticking to a little bit more of a typical split but I've been throwing in full body workouts every once in a while and that's what I'm going to be doing today. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. If you guys don't enjoy it, I'm sorry, but hopefully you can take something away from it. I'm going to kind of run through it pretty quick. And then after that, I'm going to go actually walk Zoe um, and take her to my buddy Mark's house, who you guys know from the channel, and we're going to walk the dogs or we're going to have them play or something. But um, yeah, so I'm about to get this full body workout in and I'll show you guys that when we get there. Blue jeans, air ones, and a white tee. Oh, six, hanging out the... Tell me I Hello there. So, so, just gonna have a quick meal. Typically, always try to have meat on deck and then um, some rice, either a big amount of it. Um, my dad hates making it, so I try to make it, but I never do. Um, and uh, otherwise, I just have instant rice. So, <laughs> but yeah, just quick, easy meal. Two seconds. Throw some veggies on here if you wanna have some micros added in if you're about that life. Gonna eat this and then go to Mark's. What do you think about that, Zoe? Hmm? Hmm? How you feel? Good? <laughs> Veclo, please, execs, please, whoever said. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. Ready for a road trip, Zozo? Huh? This is one of the other colorways as well that I just released. If you guys are interested, let me know. Shoot me a DM on Instagram. Um, and I'm going to put up the tan colorway or nude colorway if you want to check it out right now, too. It's, I'll put up a picture right here. But, um, but yeah, let me know. Oh, I'm going into the wild. Dude, no, he saw deer. He saw deer. Right, like wild. Like, he, never he saw dough up on the thing and just, oh he was like a hunting dog, too. Talking about this time that uh, when I was in Colorado with Nick uh, last year, this lady had her dog off her leash just like this. And uh, 
it saw like some deer up in the mountains. It was like a hunting dog and all of a sudden it took off up into the mountains. And uh, me and my buddy Nick actually went up and tried to like actually uh, find the dog, but it was gone. So it was one of the sad, more sad experiences of my life. But uh, yeah, moral of the story, don't take your dog off the leash um, in the mountains of Colorado if you don't think your dog's gonna listen. Right, Mark? We out here live, pooches and all. If Zoe runs away, at least there's no mountains for her to run up. it. I don't know if I could catch her. She's pretty quick. Rolling? Yep. Zozo, Zozo, look. Ball, ball. <laughs> like, especially considering. I'm glad he's running too, because sometimes when you throw it, she'll run and get it and then doesn't grab it. Well, dude, <laughs> like, especially. She it's did it like, this morning really well. Actually, I got it on film. Get well, especially because it's like her strides are a tenth of the size of him. I know, but she's just like, she's like... Oh, he didn't even run! She ain't on she it. She doesn't pick it up until the end. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a worm burner. Maybe that'll help. Bring it here, come on! Like dog, like owner. Not oh. the sharpest tool in the shed. Yeah. But we out here trying, right? <laughs> come here, drop. Drop it, good boy. Get it, Zozo! Oh, I know. She's also a culprit is she took a walk with my dad before, so she's probably tired. Guy probably has her going. Good girl, you have the fun. Yeah, fun. Trump got us at war. Be happy, but you won't go up. Come on. Look at your tongue. <laughs> I've never seen your tongue hang like that. Come on! What are you doing, weirdo? You're such a weirdo. She just like went down again. That's it's okay, he's just big. He's nice. He's just protective of his house, though. Black outfit on. I already bag most of the chicks that you have been trying to get on. You just catch it up to what I've been on. That's that shit I've been on.